It's 5.30 and here's what's happening. Charges are filed against a local Uber driver. Police get involved after what the driver did that scared his passengers. Police say two women riding in that Uber were visibly upset when they had to flag down an officer for help. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live in Westchester with how this all unfolded. Joe? Good evening. With the uh, police say these two women had no idea what was going to happen next as they were in this Uber. They say the driver was repeatedly locking the door once he changed course. Police say at this moment he is charged and facing some potential jail time in connection with what was a terrifying ride. My one friend is like. Alarmed and concerned, Westchester University students are rethinking grabbing that next ride share service. You Uber for a reason so you don't drink and drive. Their uneasiness comes on the heels of a terrifying incident for two female students early Friday morning. Like I'd be so scared that I like wouldn't know what to do. Police say Uber driver Zacharias Dragalis picked up the young women and began heading in an unfamiliar direction. Investigators say he repeatedly locked the car doors, forcing them to remain inside. Dragalis of Upper Darby wasn't home when we went to talk to him. He's charged with unlawful restraint and reckless endangerment after the women pointed out his car to a police officer who was nearby. People, particularly young ladies, really need to pay attention to who might be in that car with them. Prosecutors like Chester County District Attorney Tom Hogan say they've seen a wave of troubling incidents with rise share services across the country. It was just last month when Hogan's office brought about the successful conviction of Ahmed El Ghaffari on charges. He raped an unconscious woman in February in the back of his Uber. This is a big concern across the United States. Uber and Lyft are relatively unregulated. In this latest case from Friday, Uber said it removed Dragalis' access to the app immediately upon learning of the case. Parents like Steve Campbell are nervous after hearing about these incidents. That's what me and my wife are afraid of. You know, that's, we keep telling them it's not safe. And we reached out to an attorney for Dragalis. He did not immediately return a call requesting comment. Now, Westchester University did issue a statement pointing students to best safety practices when using ride sharing services. We've placed that on our website at cbsphilly.com. We're live outside the Chester County Courthouse in Westchester. I'm Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And Joe, thank you for that.